So I just posted this TikTok yesterday and it's getting quite a lot of attention. And I mean, I get it. It's not often you see things like this inside the game. And I just so happened to stumble across it by accident whilst looking into the new Carabos Augment this Nightwave. Now the purpose of this video is to show exactly what I did because I can replicate this shot. And for educational purposes, let's cover how it's done. Guys, I stress this will be patched. It's legitimately the definition of broken. Don't go ahead and expect this to last too long in the game. Alrighty then, enough yapping. What actually happened? To begin with, the thought process was big damage numbers, and I think I clearly achieved that goal, in fact, a little too well. The catapult is a unique secondary weapon that when out of ammo, the reload will throw the empty clip at enemies and burst with some good damage. Its new augment will build up critical chance and critical damage to a 300% increase per kill, in which will fall off by 30% each time you hit less than three enemies with your projectile based grenade. So my first plan of action was to apply the pedal to the gas and full throttle that direction. This is where Ureli comes in. Her passive offers a 200% critical chance increase to secondary weapons. So we added that to our shopping list and continued browsing. Ureli also gives us a few other instruments we can be using here as well. Her fourth Riptide will group up enemies, helping us clump an AOE nuke, but also helping make sure that the augment doesn't fall off. And her first ability, Sea Snares, when applied to enemies will debuff them with damage vulnerability, increasing our damage output even further further to put simply. So with those in mind, we're going to keep the rest of this part short. Up on screen is all of the things that I applied to the builds and we went full raw power mode, expecting to reach 50 million damage. But the more that I tested, the more the damage numbers were going up and we kept seeing around 250 million damage. Stop. Now this seems kind of crazy, right? Want to know a little secret? Over 80% of that didn't matter. Here's how to replicate what I did 100%. You've really passive. This doesn't work with her standing still. Get moving, it gives you critical. Five times crimson shards for secondary critical chance. I'm not sure if you need all five, and I'm not sure that they all have to be Talforged, but it doesn't work with them removed, and it does work with them applied. This also gives you critical. A Daza Kavat, you only need her cat's eye mods to proc. This also gives you critical. And the Catabolts with the usual crit chance and crit damage mods, the new augment giving criticals, and a Riven with critical damage. And yes, this all gives you criticals. See, what you're noticing there is a pattern. It's basically a full critical overload situation. I do not need any Warframe abilities, and I do not need any damage mods applied to my weapon. As so long as I head down the critical route with this new augment, it basically breaks the game. Now, I'm no coder, but if you are, please, someone, give a proper definition on why the number is 2.1 billion, and why it's also a negative 2.1 billion as well. It's to do with something called the integer limit. Hopefully, I pronounced that correctly. It's the exact same reason why if you look at other games like RuneScape, that the max cash stack is also 2.1 billion, which all comes down to 32-bit coding or something like that. Anyways, I'll let the professionals explain because I'm probably butchering this, but this is the maximum damage that you can possibly achieve in Warframe. With all of that in mind, there is a new clan event, Gargoyle's Cry, that comes out tomorrow, and I did try to do a little bit of testing to see if this worked on the new Murmur assassination boss. However, it doesn't really seem like that it does. But I may have been a little bit inconsistent with what I was doing here so if anybody else wants to go ahead and test be my guest but i said it before and i'll say it again this obviously needs patching anyone else you can go ahead and find more consistency within this go ahead and help exactly where it replicates and what is replicating it please go ahead and chime on in but i do call out to the pablo's going to get this fixed before that clan event drops otherwise it's going to be mayhem anyways guys this was just a quick video i hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for a proper catapult build but let me go and see what de fixes first because whether or not it's going to continue being as strong with 100 200 million damage builds which i can go ahead and get consistency without bugs i'm not too sure if they will change a part of coding that might go ahead and lower it hopefully that won't be the case so stay tuned until next time Thank you guys for watching.